Fire! <laughs> Fire in the hole! Fire! Yes! Yes, he run! A couple of weeks ago, a lovely man called Zachary messaged me and said, Alex, my granddad's car has been in my field for 10 years. Do you want it? Which is why you joined Gareth and I somewhere in Somerset to do just that. <laughs> Okay, and this is it. It is a Volvo 740 Estate 1990 2.3 petrol. Gareth, why don't you have a look inside and talk us through? I'm gonna have a little seat. So this Ooh. is the first time I've actually been in this car. It smells ripe, like the sunroof's been leaking. It's, it's old, it's skanky, it's full of cobwebs. Um, however, lovely car, nostalgic smell. Oh, it Between does, the yeah. mold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking it already. So our plan today is to pull this 1990 Volvo 740 Estate out from its shallow grave. We're going to take it up there. We're going to pull it out with the X5, and then we're going to attempt to start it. <laughs> and then we're going to change a clutch and hopefully drive this car under its own steam around the field. A lot of you guys really like old Volvos. They are, you know, known oh. for being tanks. Very reliable, very robust. I'm going to have a seat myself. It smells really bad and there's just bits of plastics and you can tell that Zachary's granddad has tried to do bits and bobs over the years, but maybe it's just become too much of a job. And also when a car sits for this long, you kind of fall out of love with it, don't you? In the boot, we have got hubcaps, we've got a little toolkit, we've got the all important clutch, which was bought by Zachary's granddad. God knows how long that's been in there. That's nice and rusty. There is oh. a spare wheel. Wow. And also, um, there is a tow bar as well. And it looks relatively straight, so it probably hasn't been rear-ended, which is a good thing. Right then, so I think all that's left to do is for us to, um, to, to drag the Volvo out onto some hard standing and then um, start working on it. Let's get it started. <laughs> good luck with that. But first things first, let's relieve the X5 of all the things we'll definitely need today and then pump up the Volvo's old tyres to make dragging the old girl out easier. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying not, trying not to get stung. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, yeah. Oh! oh got oh, me! Oh. Oh. Yeah? Something is mucused on me. <laughs> Considering this car's been here for like 10 years. I'm surprised the tyres are holding pressure. 12 PSI, 13 PSI. Really? Yeah. I reckon we'll get some new fuel in it and it'll just start and we'll just drive it home. And, no the, and the clutch will just magically mend itself. There's no point in bringing the trailer. What a waste of time. If there's any MOT testers watching right now, then come to the field. Come right now to this field. Somewhere in Somerset. Transition! F*** you. Oh, you <laughs> Are you all right, mate? Oh, mate. Why did you get a bit of a stinger? You can't be good. <laughs> Rory, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? That really wasn't worth it because I, I burnt all my hands. My knee is on fire. My fingers are buzzing and my feet are on fire. <laughs> oh, today can only go well. Right, there we go. All the tyres are pumped up. Uh, one thing I remember as well is that Zachary's granddad took the brake pads out so they wouldn't bind to yeah. the disc. So we should have a good shot of actually being able to drag this car out. Wicked, okay. um, also, I agreed £200 with Zachary and I need to put the money uh, in the toolbox on that green tractor. So here's the money, Zachary. I'm just, for the shot, I'm just going to put it there and then when we leave... Take just take it, it out, yeah. yeah. You go spin it on yeah, just, booze. Just cut, yeah. cut. What's that? Have you ever seen a tow rope streamer? No. Watch this. Well, that was shit. Anyway, let's stop wasting time and get the Volvo moving. Oh, we could do some slacklining. Oh, let's make it longer. I'm going to be like oh. those cool people were at uni. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to walk like it's a normal road. <laughs> Let's stop wasting up. time. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, we're moving! Holy moly. I think something's, something's dragging, isn't it? Oh, it's in gear! Where are you going? The car was in gear and I was, I was so involved in trying to get it out of it because there's no clutch. <laughs> there's no clutch in it, so what I've had to... What about the whole steering thing? Yeah, but I got sidetracked by the, the, the gearbox thing. We need to go back down the hill and start again. You had one job, which was to steer, <laughs> and you nearly crashed it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. A little bit of help. Go on, yeah, I am. Oh. Go, push. I'm trying. <laughs> Holy shit sticks. Three, two, one. Go. <laughs> God, is it stuck? Should we try one more time? Come on, big thoughts, big thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, Three, two, two three, one. Go! go. go. Right, it, yeah. we're, we're out of gear, yeah? Three, yeah. two, one, go! Come on! Okay. It's a wrap. Were you holding on to it? You f***ing... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long day. Oh, look at the mighty X5! We've not opened the bonnet, so oh, we, we don't even do know what's under there. That is a... That's an engine. That's a grand engine. Look how much space there is. That's floppy. Yeah. We only need the thing to start. Oh, wow, that is really floppy. Oh, there's oil in it. I don't know if it's just settled out. Yeah. All the dirt. That's, that's, quite, just, that's just pure water. That's quite, <laughs> that's quite clean. Uh, no, that's completely dry. I have uh, an, a new slash old battery. Should we try turn it over? Yeah. Shall we? How about we but... battery, turn it on, yeah. and then just see how much fuel's in there. Okay. And then we can dump in 10 litres. I have jump leads. Flush it out. Bataria. Big old bitch of a battery. Yeah, like a glove. Do you know, this Volvo is probably just thinking, I was just chilling and now you're trying to get my heart going again. Oh! Oh, that's a noise. That's a noise. Oh my goodness. Oh, it primed something. Imagine if it just starts. I doubt that very much. Imagine. Right. Oops. Okay, oh, there's lights on the dash. It looks like there is no, no fuel. Is that the indicator? Well, that's an MOT pass. Sh shall we? Yeah. Actually, how much fuel's left? I don't know, it's, it's, it's reading is that even Is that even working? Shall we? To see what happens? Yeah? Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah. I think, I think there's no, so. I think there's no fuel in here whatsoever. I hope he's, because it would be really good if he did drain it. I did hear the pump priming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it wants to go. Should we just give it a drop of fresh fuel? Rory, come around here. Let's do a sniff test. If this smells like varnish, God, hopefully it's the right key. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not like doing something wrong here. This is just a key and a keyhole. No keys. Shit. Let's just bust it open. Actually, how does that pipe go? Sorry, Volvo. Oh yeah, we're not gonna break into that. No, I, no. No, no. Do you have a hammer? I do. Oh, do we have access? Yeah! Ish. Oh, you can reuse that. I have... Oh. Thank you, Volvo. Oops. Is it a bit yeah. bent? No, not bent, I've just, yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying this, Rory? Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> it's air vents. It's a bit bent. With the Volvo's gullet now ready to receive, it was time to drop in the new fuel. <laughs> Think you got the look, but do you have the time? No, don't, don't get, get me wrong. wrong. I think Jeff's all right. And that won't keep me warm in the middle. Of... All right, so you're Bradley Smith. That don't impress <laughs> me much. All right, I guarantee I'm going to put 200 pounds on this, that this will start with this fuel in. 200 pounds. Well, that means I have to pay you if I lose. No, no, I'll, I'll pay you. Regardless? Yeah. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. There you go. I don't think it's going to start. It'll start, it'll start, it'll start. So. I don't think it's going to start. No, Jeff's going to start. Wait, right. 
Hold my beer. Can someone get a fire extinguisher? Ignition. Wait. 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 Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. Dance, dance, Wait. dance, dance, dance. Do you think he's going to burn the starter motor up? Over there, he's going to kill our only battery. That's... That is a good point. We do have a nice big one in that X5, though. Right. We need to edit all of that out and then get to work. <laughs> Should we drop the... Sump. Uh, I think we should look at the fuel system and just what can we uncouple around here to just get all the skanky old fuel out of this thing. Okay. Oh, I must punch myself in the face. Yeah, that, that's fuel. Smell good? It doesn't smell bad. Ignition on, pump a bit through? Yeah, why not? Just crank it over one, yeah, that's it. It just wants ignition, just cycle the ignition on and off. That's it. Okay, and again, and again. This stuff smells really bad. Right, watch this. No. No. Okay, so with Jeff putting up a better fight than we expected, the next step for us is to take out the injector rail to make sure that the fuel is actually being squirted in. Warning. Yeah. To get you? Uh, it actually only got my arm. Very, <laughs> very close to getting me right in the face. Oh shit, did that <laughs> That was really close. You see, I ninja that. <laughs> At this point, Zachary's granddad and former owner of the Volvo arrived to see how we were getting on. And after a quick chat, we found out that the car was potentially in far worse shape than we initially thought. <laughs> nah, it's nothing. Is there anything coming? Nah, not a, not oh, a wow. thing. Yeah, I, I don't think these are blocked. Time now to ditch the tools and dig into the car's diagnostics to see what the real problem could be. So this is a control test. So there's a little <coughs> control board over here and you just plug this connector in and it creates a circuit. And then you go through a sequence of button presses and then it runs down. And like the first one is the injector it test. On directly. Yeah, so we should hear them going tick, 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 tick. Yeah. 13 hertz, which we're not. And no. also the other components around the car, which we're not hearing. So. In my mind, I don't know if the ECU is just having a nightmare trying to figure out what's going on or if it's just not working, is my diagnosis of it. But we will get it started today. <laughs> You're very ambitious. With the Volvo's diagnostics being about as useful as a glass hammer, the next avenue is to check for spark. So what I intend to do, I've sucked up a bit of petrol into the syringe. I'm gonna squirt some down these injector holes. <laughs> It might work or right. it might burst into flames. Should we give it a go? Yeah. Oh, that went cool. Yeah. Carry on going. Oh, oh, oh. carry on going. Oh, I can't see my <laughs> there. It's definitely a spark. Oh, oh it's unhappy about the whole thing. If it starts, it's a victory. Yeah. Well, it proved quite an issue if you get it going. Yeah, ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh. You've obviously got ignition. Go, go, carry on going. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Fire! <laughs> Fire in the hole! Fire! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! <laughs> <laughs> well, so, the point the ignition's working. So there is spark. So now we just need to find out how to get the injectors firing rather than setting ourselves alight. <laughs> I'm gonna try cycle the injector to test, test that they aren't buggered uh, on the battery. So I'm just gonna put 12 volts onto it. Oh yeah, yeah, look. There we go. It's squirting. Injector it's... works, Rory. Right, I'm gonna be a manual injector. And I reckon we can get this car started. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's it's such a big motor right. wants to run on one cylinder. But it's, it's definitely going. Okay, so update from the world's most disappointing flight deck. It looks like we're not going to get the clutch in. And it also looks like we are not going to get the car started. 
because yeah. we are plagued with electrical gremlins and the mice have chewed the wiring so I don't think we're going anywhere today. If you'd like to support the channel, you like merch, okay? Everyone's been asking, where are the t-shirts from? Well, they're from a company called Petrol Heart. And I'm very proud to say that I've got my own design with Petrol Heart. It is the Shitbox Appreciation Society. You know I like my shitboxes. So um, if you want to support the channel, then if you use code AUTOALEX, you get 20% off. Gareth is the most critical person I know. What do you think of the quality of the t-shirts, Gareth? Thanks, Alex. Uh, I really like them. Good thick cotton. I like the designs apart from this one. So, yeah, I've got a fair few of them. You do, which you Great haven't paid. You've never paid for I've, any of them. I've never paid for Anyway, them. if you want to have my face on your chest, <laughs> I'm looking at you, then uh, again, use code AUTOALEX for 20% off. There are loads of cool designs, so go on petrolheart.com and uh, check them all out. We've also got some cool stickers as well. Shipbox Appreciation Society and lots of different flavors and Auto Alex as well. If you spend over 85 quid as well, free shipping and we'll chuck in a whole bunch of cool stickers like that. Transition. Transition. Transition! Basically what I said to Gareth is, if we get this car started, we have a video. I know everyone watching actually just wants to hear this thing start. Because I've owned this car for about four hours and I already hate it. <laughs> Stick to BMWs. Buy BMWs, people. Don't buy, buy... E40, just buy an E46 Touring. Yeah, if you Answer want to everything. If you want a car for everything, buy a 330i Touring Manual Sport. Okay, values are going up. Watch the other video. Okay, over there or wherever. Just watch the video. In a last-ditch attempt to get the bloody thing started, there was only one thing for it. Wire up each injector in parallel, hook them up to the battery, and get Gareth to squirt fuel in by completing the circuit. Oh! Okay. I'm gonna stand here out of the firing line. Yeah, I'm gonna be inside the car. All right, <laughs> shall we? Yeah. Okay, uh, ready? Contact. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my god! Yeah! Oh my god! I think that car's running! <laughs> yes! Yes, yeah, it runs! It runs! It runs! <laughs> oh my god! That's amazing! That is amazing! Oh, there we go, we have just tripled the value of this Volvo because it now runs. You we just... did say we need it running. Yep. Done. Cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. Oh. That's so good. Yeah, that's oh, funny, isn't it? That's excellent. <laughs> uh, so if your car doesn't start, then all you need to do is uh, strip down some wires, get the injectors going, and then just go beep, 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 beep. Bit of Morse code on your engine, and then jobs are good. Jobs are good, exactly. Uh, there we go. I think we can call that great success. Are we saying join us next time where we actually get it running properly? Maybe. Maybe we'll keep it open-ended, okay? Just write in the comments. What, what do you want to see us do with this? I'm not going to spend too much time and money on it. Because... I'm thinking standalone ECU because we can plumb that in quite easily. Okay, okay. Oh. And it's rear-wheel drive, so maybe we can go drifting with it and then scrap it. <gasps> That's a really good idea. You're welcome. Oh. All right, so uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel because uh, it'll do me a favor. Do you a favor because it's good, cheap entertainment. And uh, if you don't mind, Go on to the Petrol Heart website, link in the description below, and buy some t-shirts, right? 20% off using the code AUTOALEX. Before we go, should we just see if it runs one more time? Why not? Yeah, let's do it, do it, do it, do it. Let's do it, do it. come on, come on. Turn back on. Come on, come on, Morse code. I think the battery's dying. Yeah, see you soon. Before I go though, if you want to get rid of an old car that's been sitting on your driveway or field for years, then fire over pictures and details to the email address below. And with that... Transition! Oh, no. Come on!